Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 217. That is, what are entry and exit criteria in a test plan? Let me answer. In a test plan document, there are different sections. Whereas entry and exit criteria is only one of the sections okay, available. So if I expand this uh, test plan here, we'll come across different sections available in a test plan document. When you create a test plan document, these are all the sections generally create. That is overview, scope, test environments, test strategy, roles and responsibilities, deliverables, schedule, tools, suspension and resumption criteria, risk and mitigation, entry and exit criteria, okay, which is the topic that I'm currently explaining and approval process. These are the different sections in a test plan that we generally create, whereas entry and exit criteria is one of them. So what exactly is this entry and exit criteria all about? Okay, if I talk about the real world guys, okay, so what is the entry criteria to enter into a, uh, to get a seat in a college, okay? So there may be some entrance exam, right? So you guys may have to go through an entrance exam. So if you clear that exam, then you will be given admission in that college. That is the entry criteria to that college. Okay. Similarly, what is the exit criteria? You have to clear all the subjects, right? You should not have any pending subjects left out. Okay. You have to uh, clear all the subjects uh, in all the semesters with all the pass marks. Then finally, you will be graduated out. That means uh, that is the exit criteria to come out of the college, okay? And to get graduated and come out of the college. Similarly, guys, similarly, okay? Similarly, in the software testing life cycle, there are several phases, okay? In software testing life cycle, there are several phases. So what are the different phases we have? We have the different STLC phases, software testing life cycle phases, like requirement analysis phase we have, test planning phase we have, designing phase, test execution phase, and test closure phase. So for each and every phase of this software testing life cycle, okay, we have to mention the entry criteria and exit criteria. For requirement analysis phase, we have to mention entry criteria and exit criteria. Where you have to mention in the test plan document, okay? Whenever you are preparing a test plan document, when you are preparing all the sections, when the turn comes where you have to provide the entry and exit criteria section, for each and every phase of STLC, software testing life cycle, you have to provide an entry and exit criteria. You understood what is entry criteria, what is exit criteria. To start this requirement analysis phase, what is the criteria? To complete this requirement analysis phase in STLC, what is the exit criteria? Like that for each and every phase here that is mentioned, what is the entry criteria, what is the exit criteria we have to mention, okay, in the test plan document as part of this entry and exit criteria section. Okay, I'll show you a sample here. Okay, of a test plan document. So let me open this test plan document here. So this test plan document contains all the sections I was talking about, starting with the overview section, then we have the scope section, then test environment section, then we have test strategy section. Okay roles and responsibilities, test schedule, test deliverables, all the different sections are there. Entry and exit criteria is one of the section in test plan document. And you see for each and every phase of STLC, that is requirement analysis phase, what is the entry criteria? Okay, the BRS document should be given to us. Okay, the requirement should be given or hand over to us by the client. Then only we can start the requirement analysis phase. But when we can get out of this requirement analysis phase, to get out of this requirement analysis phase, which we as software testers uh, have to understand the requirements document and derive all the testable requirements and document them in a separate document. So then next phase will come in STLC, that is test planning. So what is the entry criteria? Once all the testable requirements are derived and documented in a separate document, then you can enter into the test planning phase, you can start test planning phase, that means. Okay, in the test planning phase, you will create this test plan document and what is exit criteria? The test plan document uh, need to be created and need to be approved by the client. That is exit criteria of the test planning phase Then test designing phase will start. Okay, so once the test plan is uh, created and approved, that is the entry criteria for starting the test designing phase and when you can exit the test designing phase. 
So once you create the test scenarios, test uh, cases, documents, and get them approved by the client, then you can exit the test designing phase. Then we have the test execution phase. Okay. So in, to get into that, uh, the test scenarios and test cases need to be approved uh, by the client in the previous phase. Then only we can start this test execution phase. That is the entry criteria. Exit criteria for the test execution phase is uh, we should be ready with all the results. Okay. Of the test execution results and all defect reports and all everything should be ready and then finally test closure there is an entry and exit criteria for the last phase also so hope guys you understood uh, what are entry and exit criteria in a test plan it is one of the section guys okay for all the phases of stlc we provide the entry and exit criteria in a test plan document okay so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye